But we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my mom and Hurricane fans. I got some good news for you guys. I got some good news for you guys. Now I know a lot of you guys love the rankings. Love to see our players, you know, moving up in the rankings and stuff like that. Earning more stars. And this, that, and the third. Now, as you guys know, Josh Horton. We basically flipped him from North Carolina coming to the U. He was listed as a three-star. Now has been updated by 247 Sports Composite to a four-star. So, nice improvement, nice improvement. Now, as you guys can see here, he's out of Georgia. Out of Georgia. Um, class of 23, of course. Um, nationally, um, two, um, fourth um, 21. Defensive lineman as listed as number 43 and in the state of Georgia. I meant 49 and in the state of Georgia. Um, let me move myself out of the way. 43. So, you know, improvement, improvement. So, let's, let's move on from there. I want to talk to you guys about what I really want to talk to you guys about. This right here, this right here. Okay, so, as I told you guys... I reported to you guys that Josh Gaddis is gone. Plain and simple. I got my sources. I got my sources. Somebody told me, gave me a little info, say don't put their name in it. They don't care if it gets out there. And I've, 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 <laughs> I've heard a lot of things to back up what I already know. What I already know and have reported to you guys. So I trust my source very well. 100% to be exact. So, if they turn out to be wrong, I'll take 100% to blame. I will never even throw their name out there. Plain and simple. If 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 Gaddis is still here next season, guys, y'all can come back on here, get in the comment section, and bash the crap out of me. Yes, yes. Full accountability. But, anyways, let's talk about this report. Today, today, just a couple hours ago, um... I received this from a buddy of mine. They know who they are. They don't need no um, no spotlight, but they know who they are. Um, shout out to you, my guy. Appreciate you. Um, State of Miami. Now this, I'm on Instagram as you guys can see. State of Miami football, 2024, Phoenix, Arizona. Um, Sunny Slope quarterback Luke Moga. Luke Moga. Who owns a Basically a 10.9 in the 100 meter time. So this is a this is a fast a fast guy playing quarterback. Um, details his visit to Miami on Thursday. Says Crystal Ball expect to have a new have new coordinator in place next week. Okay, T2Y is not the only one saying it. A lot of the media guys, like I told y'all, they're gonna start putting it out pretty soon. You got to understand with me, when it comes to giving you guys what I know, what I heard, whether it's alleged or it's rumor, I'm going to give it to you. As soon as I know, you know, unless it's something that I just can't tell you guys, or I've been advised not to tell you guys, or my sources will be burned kind of thing. But as soon as it's okay to tell you guys, I tell you guys, man. Come on. Anyways, man, uh, before we get any further in the video, man, make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you ain't already. By you guys hitting, me the like, hitting that like button, it let me know that you guys really rock with me. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. I know sometimes I might be goofy with the videos and all that, and, but, you know, it, whatever, man. But, yeah, man. Yeah. See, I, I'm looking in the comments now. Um... Best news, I, best news I've heard all year. Um, Kilf time. Um, a new coordinator. Wow. Um, let's go. Now, when I report this a couple days ago, a lot of people were getting at me. Um, you don't know what you're talking about. Ain't nobody else reporting on it. This, that, and the third. I understand. I understand. Sometimes your credential guys, when they put it out, it's, you, you jump on it. Okay, it's, it's real now. I'm not a breaking news channel, so when I tell you guys things, it's, you know, it's been given to me behind the scene. If they give me the okay to give, I give. So, it is what it is. But more people are going to be, you know, putting it out now. I'm just saying. Now, this quarterback, I, I, I was like, you know what? 
Let me go in and look look at who we're talking about. Now, this is obviously a guy that had a visit to Miami from Arizona. So, boom. Let's give my guy here a little bit of background check. A little background check. Um, 2024 quarterback, of course. He's 6'2", 195, uh, 4'5", 40 time, 4'5", 40 time. 10, 9, 300 meter time. So this dude is a speedster. As you can see in his um display pick here, he running track. He running track. So fast quarterback. I mean, if Miami is recruiting him and, you know, they want this guy bad, I, I hope we get him. I hope we get him. Now, as you guys can see, he posted his visit. 305 is different. Go run up my um, post Kings fans. I got you, my guy. Let me hit you with a like. As a matter of fact, let me hit you with a follow. Let me hit you with a follow. There you go, guys. On the screen right there, Luke Moga. Luke Mo at Luke Moga um, QB on, um, you know, that's the photo you're looking for when you go looking for him on Twitter. So, you know, big boost to him. Hopefully, you guys go follow him. We can see how far, you know, the recruitment go with him. As you guys can see, there's um, there's more and more Photos, of course, you know, other schools sending him offers, Oregon and all that. He's, the, the, or, the, um, the offers are coming in. You got Cal. Um, as you guys can see, like I said, he's, he's got plenty of offers coming in. Of course, the U, the best. Yes, he's already made his visit. So that's a good thing. Oregon's on him. Um, yeah, so make sure you guys go check my guys. Go check him out. But... The Gaddis situation. I told you guys Gaddis is gone. Gaddis will be gone. Whether it's him finding somewhere else or that payout, that buyout. Gaddis has not been spotted. Has not been spotted. I've seen photos with Coach Steele. A lot of y'all was worrying about Coach Steele. Coach Steele is out there recruiting guys. I've seen photos with him and Mario recruiting guys. Yes. Um, speaking of that, I think I, I think I had some photos saved, you know. Just not nothing, nothing, nothing too much, but um, a couple things saved on here. Yeah, so as you guys know, man, the helicopter, the helicopter. Mario's out there in the helicopter, man, flying around. Now this is not nothing new. This is not something that's exclusive to Miami. We've seen other coaches done it. I think. If I'm not mistaken, the first person I've, I've heard done it, and I could be wrong, was Nick Saban. But, yeah, we're out there. Different schools, different different places. Mario's out there, you know, visiting different schools, visiting different, um, you know, areas. See, different schools, man. Out there on the, on the landing the plane, going out there recruiting some of the, um, the guys. You know, the staff is out there. They're, they're out there doing their recruiting. So, man. Nobody spotted Gaddis, though. I'm telling you that much. Mario, like I said, Mario's out there in the helicopter, man. You know. We also seeing photos coming out of um, practice. Um, this um, Nathaniel Joseph right there. Other, I've seen other ones, you know. Francis. Not not Francis, I'm sorry. Um, we've seen other ones with guys like, you know, Samson, um, Antonio Trips, and those guys. They're putting out the... The photos and everything like that from um, practice and whatever, this, that, and the third. But I want to just talk to you guys about the the post that came out today. You know, everybody's talking about it now. I'm not asking you guys to give me no credit or nothing for, for telling you this. I'm just, you know, I'm just the guy that give you guys whatever I know whenever I know. So, all you got to do is hit the like and subscribe button for me. That's, that's the only please and thank you, you know. But, yeah, man, y'all know Ponce is gone. Um, I'm telling y'all straight up, Gaddis is gone. So, offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, if this fall through, we'll find out who it is next week. I'm not giving you guys no timeline on when we're going to have one because I don't know. I'm being 100% honest with you. I don't know what's the timeline for offensive coordinator. I don't think Mario has told anybody when, you know, who is, what day it is or anything like that. We're just hearing from a, a 2024 prospect 
that it's going to be, um, you know, sometime soon, sometime this week, next week, next week. So he visited on Thursday, which is today. So sometime next week, no deadline. Nobody, please nobody say T2Y said, you know, we're, we're going to get the guy next week. I'm just telling you guys this. Anyways, man, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, Canes fan. Let me know how you guys are feeling about Gaddis being gone, being gone. Oh.